I just recreated an After Effects animation in CapCut. And if you're going to copy this exactly step by step, it's going to fail. So I'm going to show you three principles how you can take your animations from CapCut beginner to CapCut professional in just 15 minutes. And the reason why your animation and your edits is not looking exactly the same like tutorial you just seen on YouTube, it's because you're copying steps and not decisions. We're going to build this complete animation from scratch in a CapCut, which is going to need like four assets. If you didn't know, you can start building backgrounds inside CapCut and I'm just gonna stretch this up a little bit for seven seconds and I'm gonna build the background using a default text layer and a lot of you guys claiming under my video on my content that if you max the font size it stays the same and it's because you didn't enter the space on the keyboard so once you hit the space on the keyboard you see how this starts getting a bigger and then you can increase the font size now I'm just gonna scroll down the background and I'm gonna be choosing my first color this animation is going to be about green so I'm gonna choose like like a darker green something like this and i'm going to create a compound clip just duplicate this layer double click it and i'm going to change this the lighter green just so i have like nice two colors in my background now i'm going to show you how you merge these two layers together using a mask you can use split film strip but i'm going to use a circle and now you just start playing with the shape and the size and with the feather and i'm going to show you how you can spice this background up a bit more i mean i'm happy with this already so i'm just going to take this particle asset and i'm going to throw it on the timeline and i'm just going to go to blend mode and i just start playing with the blend mode and the opacity but i'm going to keep it on default just so it adds a bit of a more texture something like this so i'm going to cut it off here and i'm going to add these particles because nothing is really going on here i'm gonna cut the beginning and i uh, just bring it to the beginning and now we gotta change the color and i'm gonna do that through adjustment and the curves and you can really like tweak the color like you can i mean this purple looks good too so if you have a purple animation i mean this is like a way to go but i'm gonna go with this green color and i'm gonna spice it up a bit more by using a mask but before i do that i want to decrease the opacity a little bit maybe put it on the screen see how it looks so yeah i'm gonna use the masking and i'm gonna use a split mask and i just position it like this and just play with the feather yeah you don't want to have it exactly like i do right maybe you want to have it like this and maybe you want to rotate it like this be creative because that's what video already think is all about like about the creativity but this looks fine to me so i can finally start building the animation and i'm just going to select all these layers just so i have a clean timeline and i create a compound clip and i put it on the main track so we got the background now it's time to build a shape it's the same process as we did with the background you just add a default text you max the font size and you just pick your first color i'm going to be choosing like a darker green and i create a compound clip out of the text layer and I go to mask and I just start shaping my animation. So I'm going to play with the corners. Maybe you want to round it completely. I'm going to write around it slightly and have it this size. And I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And I just change this color to something brighter green. Probably this one. And I'm going to match these two colors together again. So I just got to create a compound because I already applied one mask. So I just create a compound video mask. And I just start playing with the feather and the size. And I can duplicate this layer, bring it to this corner or this corner or this bottom corner. And I can double click this and change the color to something more green, some neon green. And as you can see, I have completely different look. And now how you make this glass effect, you're just gonna hide the first base color and you can start even playing with the opacity to get these results right so once you're happy with the shape i mean this looks good it's almost there i'm just gonna add a few more tweaks so i'm gonna duplicate this layer and again like this is not about copying exactly every single step this is about showing you the way how to guys do this so be creative on this start playing with the colors start playing with the feathering start playing with the opacity and that's the only option how you can achieve these high quality results right understanding your tools and knowing what you actually do and the only thing what is missing i'm already happy with this result it's the stroke so i'm going to duplicate the base and i just activate it and i'm going to change the color to whatever color you want to have the stroke so i'm going to go with this neon green and i'm just going to go to video and i put it on layer number one and i just increase the mask and now i just create another compound clip and i add another mask and this time i'm going to hit on the reverse 
that way it hides everything behind but what's important here we got to make the same corners as we did on our base so we got 32 and i'm going to just type in 32 on this layer as well and now i can stretch it up and have like a nice stroke but we gotta adjust these spots in here so i'm gonna make it a little bit more bigger and on this side as well also the stroke is looking really good and throughout this entire video i'm gonna be showing you how you can start taking these from having it look like okay to having it look like a pro so how you can spice up this stroke is simply going to effects and look for glow 2 I mean, sometimes it's not showing up, so make sure you are in video effects instead of body effects. So just go to video effects and look for glow and just apply it to your stroke. And as you can see, there is a huge difference between what we did now and now. And again, like play with the setting, right? You don't want to have it exactly glow on two and a size on 56. Play with the setting because you're going to like at different angles, but I'm going to keep it as it is. And now I can start adding my text and creating the graph line and everything and now i'm gonna just add a text so i'm gonna set the size on the same size as everything is here on the timeline and i'm gonna type in account balance and i just select some thick form so i might use the pop-ins and i put it on this corner and i just duplicate this layer and i'm gonna type in a january i bring it down here i duplicate it one more time i bring it up here and i just type in december and just so we have it everything on the same level this is what is important now you gotta go to your january and you see that on the y you got minus 371 and on the december is minus 382 so you gotta make this number the same and that way it stays in the same level and you can start adding some more numbers here so i'm just going to duplicate this layer and type some number like 1,537,200 256 make it up like this just so this text pops a bit more i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and i'm gonna change the color to something green not like a neon green but again like play with the color maybe you want to have it black but i want to go with some lighter green because this looks awesome now we gotta create the graph line and we're gonna create the bottom line but i'm gonna bring these months a little bit higher so just so you don't have to do it one by one i just i just selected both of these and i bring it up higher like this and i can maybe make it smaller and now we can start creating the line again everything's happening about the default text so you just add a default text you remove the text and that's how you can start creating any shape you max the font size you go to background you pick your color i'm going to be using white and then you just create a compound clip and with the masking tool you just start creating the line so i bring it down here make sure you are staying in the middle that's also one important thing i wanted to mention like everything you are building just build it in the middle that way you can use these horizontal and vertical blue lines as guides and nothing's gonna fill off so once you're happy with the shape with your line i mean this looks good and i'm also gonna decrease the size of the months and i do the same thing with the december so we got like a 11 and I do the same thing with the December. And now we can start creating the graph animation. Now how we can create this curved line. You can do that with the text layer. But I'm going to show you how you can do this with the shapes. Since CapCut recently added this update. So let me show you how to work with the shapes. You simply just add a shape on your timeline. Make it the same size. And now you have a pen tool. You can start drawing. And you want to have your starting point here. And your ending point here. And now you can start playing with the angle right. Maybe you are not happy with it on the first take. So you just remove it. And just start shaping until you have your final result. That's why I said on the beginning. Like don't try to copy every single step i do in this video but copy the principles and the techniques so you can apply them in your next edits and in your next animations i'm gonna make it less thicker so i just set the weight on two and yeah this looks good and i'm just gonna change the color to neon green and i'm already happy with this the only thing i don't like about these lines is how they have all these sharp edges so but i'm gonna fix that in a second so once you have with the shape i'm gonna create a compound clip and now we have to fix the corners and we're gonna have to animate the line and you're gonna animate the line by using a split mask so simply you take a split mask bring it on the beginning where you want your animation to start and just set the keyframe and put the feather on 10 and just go a few frames forward and just bring this line like this and now you can bring it all the way up like this and just play with the feather just so you can cut off this hard edge right and you're gonna also adjust this one later on so right now let me show you how you animated this line it's going like super slow so just bring this keyframe closer and it's go way faster you can smooth out the keyframes here in the keyframe graph so i'm gonna set auto curve on 
each of these keyframe and i'm not going to do anything else with it i'm going to show you later on how you can start playing with the keyframes and getting like a more professional look but that's not what is it all about in this line so i just adjusted the keyframes a little bit not everything is like nice and smooth and the result is like that's way different so i'm going to create another compound clip just so i can get rid of this hard edge and i'm going to add a film strip and just start playing with the feather and i just play with the feather on this size i mean if you compare to the first line what we made versus now it's like a huge difference and how you can spice this line even more it's take a glow effect and apply glow effect on your line like if you compare this between this it's a huge difference right so this is how you can spice up your animations and i'm going to be showing you like throughout this entire video how you can take the text and everything i'm showing you like to the next level so now we are missing this circle coming on the line so again it happens with the text layer and i'm just going to enter space max the font size and i'm going to be selecting my first color so i'm going to be choosing like a darker neon green and i just create a compound and i'm start shaping the circle by using a circle mask and the size is fine and you just place it at the beginning or this line starts showing up and you just set the keyframe you go few frames forward and you just follow the line you go a couple of frames forward follow the line like this and all the way up to the end and if you play it you see how it's going like a jumpy so you're gonna fix it by right click and show variable speed animation and you go slowly and here you just take this video mask and bring it down a little bit like this and the last keyframe i set the auto curve just so it end up super smoothly now i can hide it up i'm going to create a compound clip out of this one more time and i'm going to add a glow effect on this circle as well just so it adds this little bit glowy effect to the entire animation like i said how you can spice this up even a little bit more just so it's not starting like this boring so you take this circle and you go to animation and you want to go through all these and see whatever fits the best i'm going to use the zoom and i'm going to make the duration on one second just so it starts going exactly with the line just so we have everything nice and glowy i'm going to select all the text create a compound and i'm going to apply glow effect on our text but i'm going to decrease the glow a little bit just so it's not that shiny and bright i do the same thing with this white line so i just apply glow on this white line and i'm going to show you how you can animate this entire animation and add a bit of a movement but before we do that i want to show you how you can spice up this background a bit more so we're going to be using this falling money and first i'm going to remove the background by using chroma key and i want to go through all this asset first of all i'm going to put it on layer 2 just so it's all behind it and i'm going to go through this entire footage and i'm going to look for the parts i really like so i really like this dollar on the left how is it falling up it looks like premium so i'm just going to cut it off here and i bring it to the beginning that looks awesome so i can cut it up here and i just go through the footage again and i look for the best parts and again i like this part how is it folding up so i'm just going to cut it off here and i bring it like this and I cut it up at the end how you can spice it up because it's all kind of emerging together so i'm going to use a mask and split mask and i'm going to create a disappearing effect it's going to fall down and it's going to disappear like this and you can again apply glow effects on these dollar signs it's a huge difference already and now i'm going to activate this layer and maybe i'm going to bring it up in here and i just use a mask maybe a circle mask and i just position it here and i'm just gonna play with the feather right play with the size with the feather and if you look at it now you have like a huge difference versus now so you gotta be creative with this you can either like apply blur that's another my favorite effect so i'm gonna take a blur and i'm just gonna apply blur to this dollar sign layer and you don't want to have it like this because you won't be able to see anything but maybe take it to six and you already have like a way better result and now how you animate all these together so i'm gonna take everything except the dollars I'm going to take all the layers, all the layers to the bottom, except the background. And I'm going to create a compound clip. And now you have an animation you can start moving. You can either like apply one of these combo animations. But I don't really like this because Kapar is taking advantage of the control. So I'm going to animate the movement by myself. And simply I'm going to add a keyframe on transform. I go at the beginning and I bring it down off the screen. And now when I play it, the movement is not really smooth. So you can adjust the movement by opening show variable speed animations and again applying auto curve on each of these keyframes. And you do the same thing with this one as well. This is the magic start happening. You just start playing with this blue line. And I just like to drag it to the left. You can even have it like this, but I like to drag it to the left. That way, it shows up quick. But I'm going to move this keyframe more to the right. 
and I'm just going to stretch the blue line a little bit more. That way it makes this kind of a movement. And you can even like add a floating effect by adding a play pendulum. And again, you want to have to play with the setting. So twist, because you see how this make it like this. So twist, put to the zero, strength to the zero, speed, play with the setting. And now you see how this floating up. And just by adding these small little touch-ups and movements, you take your animation from complete beginner to editing like a pro. And this is exactly why copying tutorials never work long term, because you're copying results and not the decisions. And once you start thinking this way, CapCut stop feeling limited and your edits immediately level up. And if you want to keep editing in CapCut like in After Effects, this video is what is it all about. I will see you there.